This entire time, the ping coming out from John QT and the jump ping from Enzo, but he's not going to be able to win the duel. Now it's up to Keiko. He gets the trade, and Yappy, he just was. That's what it is. What is that? The triple headshot, the track in the air. It was made. Not sure if it was heard. This is going to be a pinch, potentially. Yeah, John QT is just drawing out the fire, but they have been heard. Yappy gets one. Can he go for more? The flashback just keeping them at pay, but Tens went right into the sights of Nats. The guiding light, the pop flash. Yappy wants the kill, and Zekin cannot get away. Keiko swings around for the 180. Ah, John QT got backed off at kind of the wrong moment, so the Sentinels get a little discombobulated there where they're not able to really collapse on towards that ramp like I think they wanted to. And like you said, the, the noise gives it away, and Nats is just not going to give up this angle at all. That is so nicely handled here. Are you bored? Then how about you have some fun in Skin Club Battles? Compete with other players in epic battles. It's all or nothing. Also, since Skin Club is provably fair, you can always check every single battle you play to make sure that you were not cheated. But if it gets too much time for other people to join, then you can always play against bots. They're always here for you. So have fun, compete with others, and get your jackpot on Skin Club. Look like they're committed for the push into a site. So Zelz is still hiding away a bit, just trying to gain a bit more information. Mystic does get the pickoff though, and he's holding Ram strong. The spike has been stranded. And at this point, Tens, he has to battle through the enemy lines from behind, and he'll get spotted. He still gets to swing around, trying to keep his eye on all the potential angles. He knows there's one in heaven. They are aware that Mystic has pushed through on ramp. Celsus has to win this fight. Meanwhile, Tens trying to wrap around. Wow. But Mystic once again coming online on the Omen. And Tens will find one, but it's still a 1v2. Pop Flash at the ready. Oh, oh they're going to wait for the Shadow Step. The nice face. If they're going to maybe have a really good chance with Tens on this Lurk. Finds oh. one. Oh, if he was able to stay alive, so much time would have been bought. But now that he goes down, Team Liquid confident. They can go into the site. And Saucy going for another curveball. Oh. He's going for the wraparound as we see the double pit come up. Celsus has been pushed out. The snake bite going to be used to buy time. Saucy, he's got the ping down. And Team Liquid, they have no idea. They aren't even suspecting that there's going to be yet another member up in heaven. Celsus just trying to draw even more gunfire. The DPS comes through, and there's the fire from the Bulldog from above. Zelsus gets the cleanup, and it's going to be the third round win for something at all. It's been a five stab from the get-go. They're relying on that ultimate. It will find the target on the Keiko. Curious to see if he caught vision of Yampi as well, as we're going to see the crowd around from heaven. But Sentinels, they are on top of each other, making sure they have each other's backs. The trades come through as tens. Finds the last kill, now only Enzo left alive. Resurrect online, but all the corpses way out in the open. Spike planted. He's gonna have to do it on his own. Throws the slow orb. He will hear the drop. Crabwire online as well. Oh, the bait with the Resurrect. He's hoping that it's going to be a swing around. But at the very least, now it's a 2v2. The Paranoia is still alive as well. It's the right target to Resurrect. And the, from the shadows, from Tens all the way out. He's hoping that they're in the smoke. But from Ali as well as Sentinels, they've got a couple layers to this post plan. Oh, Tens. Tens has his crosshairs trained, but this one timing, Yampi goes for the pop flash and he will get the kill onto Tens, can't get the spray down onto Zelsus. And the rest of the team, Zekin picking up four total kills. Here we go, let's see what they can get done on this retake. It's gonna be very, very challenging, a 3v5. Seekers online, but Nats gets caught. He's good for one. Keiko, he needs to get another, but no, it's going to be the 1v3 and Yampi can't do it. Tating over and they're gonna have to make a go towards the A site, time's running low. Yeah, the paint shells and oh. the smoke to try to keep Tens at bay. He'll still get quite a few shots onto Mystic though. Uh oh, oh, Saucy gets spotted, trying to get the heals over to his teammates. He's gonna be sacrificed, but John QT there for the trade. Still a numbers advantage Spike for planted. Sentinels. as Spike barely going down. Keiko going for a very risky play. Tries to swing on, he gets the wide swing and the double onto Tens. Now just John QT, full health, but only a classic in hand against two ghosts but two members that can't even add up to 100 HP. The right clicks, can they come through for John QT? He's trying to close the distance. Wants to get the jump on him. They haven't noticed that he's gone all the way around, but they've also hit in their bodies. The fake, John QT, the paint shells come out. He gets one, but the paint shells are gonna buy enough time. He has to stick it right now, no and he's gonna have to go for the half, and Mystic knows it. Gets the clutch with only 16 HP. Something's fishy, right? You heard the whole dorps of Enzo's looking for that. 
Paranoia comes out there trying to create more distance, but Keiko just a bit too wow. close. Sassi gets another one as well. Yampi, he's been Paranoia. Oh the fist goes down. All the weapons on the floor as Sentinels, they'll get their pick of upgraded rifles. I'm kind of assuming that their advanced weaponry will give them the advantage. These members are low, but not enough time. I mean, Enzo knows he just has to pull those through. He'll get a second one for fast execute from Team Liquid. They haven't cleared all the trap wires just yet. It's going to be Mystic going oh up first, and he's dodged everything. Going well onto the rest oh, John QT no. just cannot oh. track him at all. Oh, the Magician himself back down. on the field on the Omen. Celsus, he knows this Omen is dug deep, but Mystic just wants to buy time. He just wants info. Celsus looking for the swing. He'll take a smattering of damage, but still healthy enough to continue the fight. 3v4 on the retake for Sentinels, and they even it down to a 3v3. Ali now being cleared with the Paranoia, a trading of the Guiding Lights. And now Yampi and Sassi, it's just going to be a peaking battle, and Yampi says, you know what, we'll commit to the stronger fight on site. Ah, he's got to lose that one out as Tens gets another clear, oh. and so does Zelsus. Sentinels once again when it comes to the trading. Falling out the counter seekers as well from Saucy. It's going to keep them trapped Found up, and Evan, they even know one is still in A main. Sentinels has all the information, and second just sprays down past the cabbages as Tens goes for the flank. Eventually falls, but second has been holding the fort. Showstopper going out for a third kill. And Team Liquid only 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Another pop flash in second on four. The fifth kill here. Can he clean Ten house? Seconds. Here's the spike. Oh, oh the remaining. reload. Last Can't get the entire wipe. It's of course, you see. Oh. oh, what? Nats with the Guardian. They gave up a bit too much space. They had to use way too much utility. John QT does get pushed back. He's been paranoid, but the trap wire is still there. He gets one kill. The neural theft left online, and he's escaped. And his teammates are here working off of the pings. A second kill. They still have a clear domain, and there is the operator. Now Enzo getting that information, but a bit too late to recover this round, it seems, as Zelsis gets the trade from behind. Here, he shall have the ready for second to make sure he can cover both parts of the site. From the shadows all the way to backside, but that oh, allows no. Second to get the peak before the wall comes out. Blast pack just to keep them at bay. Mystic now surely spotted here at backside. The Viper's pick comes up, but here come the Seekers through Alley. Sentinels are going to wait for that ultimate to give them a bit more information. And Enzo going for the Resurrect immediately off of that kill. Second still sprays down for another one. Sentinels keeping the man advantage, oh. and they are just pushing through, overpowering this Viper's pit. It has now gone down, and it's all down to Yampi. He can't find the targets to Paranoia. He has no idea that Tens has come around. Time not going to be there while he gets the kill. Tens will be awaiting as the clock ticks down, and it's a 13 to 8 victory. Turned up, but nobody able to punish him. Off of it, is he going to try to push this angle? Uh, well, I mean, it draws the attention, and they're hoping they can break through Garage, but Sentinels is one step ahead of him, and Saucy still holding C Link as well. Sentinels, they just don't bite the bait. They smoke it off. They say, Team Liquid, what's the eventual movement? They find the main force now stuck on the site. It's going to be Enzo stuck off of that stun with the Trailblazer. Two members now on this entry point from Garage are trying to create chaos, but it is just not enough as John QT, be the Trailblazer, is trying to get more damage done. Ted's now pinching in from Garage trying to find anyone on their exit. Team Liquid, they have to pick and choose their battles. They don't want to leave the site empty too early. They'll slowly start to creep out as they now believe they have enough time. Still another flash. Keiko left on the site. Buys enough time for his teammates to regroup on C-Long. The drone trying to get the tag onto the diffuser. They can't find it. The spray down comes in. Smoke going to clear. Half still not done for Sentinels. They are starting oh. to run out of time. The trades come through and they have to dash out. Sentinels, they cannot sit on it and they have to give up the round. Team Liquid catching up two to two. Tremendous post plant defense here by Team Liquid to get the kill. However, Sentinels, they had a very healthy default, so they're not getting up the site just yet. It's going to be a double near sewers, and Sassy even gets the first kill. Seekers online waiting to use it. It's at down to the 15 second mark. He gets the call that they don't need to use it anymore as backup has arrived. Zelsus gets one kill onto the flying mystic on the box. And Team Liquid running down on the clock. Nats oh, will Nats! get a clean double, but he just does not have time to secure the round. Oh, oh this is a pretty fast flank here coming out from Nats. Just waiting for the contact from Mystic. He's waiting with the shorty. He hears one, hears two footsteps, and it's going to be one kill for him. Nats, unbeknownst to the Sentinels team, he Nature sees one up top. Down. No, he hasn't found second just yet. Finally finds his target, but it's too late as the scope comes right back in. 
the fault line to draw them off of the spike. And now the Odin trained up. There's the bounce One off, and remains. it's going to be Yaki who cleans up that kill. Operator has to be saved as Team Liquid ties it up once again. With that fault line and trying to be a B hit, Nano's popped. Just delaying here. Yeah. Long enough, I think. Uh, well, they're gone pretty early, so it's going to be Team Liquid just slowly filing in. Keiko's still available for the fight. The plant will go down, and he only gets one, but second now wow, remaining oh alone God. on the site. He goes down and is down to Zelsus with 10 HP as Yampi swings around for the classic from the shadows into C Link. This is going to be a fast round. Keiko now going for the pinch. Paranoia onto the site. Keiko covering the entry point, coming in from B site. Second gets one. He tries to dash out, but Keiko is locked in. And so will be cutting his Hunter's Fury in time to identify Tens trying to get that Spike cheeky planted. open ultimate. Now the double team, Saucy and Tens. If Saucy gets one kill, the Seekers come online. Tens going to be the entry man here. Oh, and it's just a spray as that holds left click from C Long. Turret to play off of potentially here for Zelsis, but it's not pointed the right way, so he's going to have to win this fight. He can't, Nat. With the Sheriff gets the headshot. But look at the positioning from second. Oh, John QT barely stays alive, but this is all set up Scanning for a second to be able to wrap all the way around to C Link. Saucy barely staying alive, and he's, oh my gosh, Enzo. He reclaims his ghost in time to get the turnaround kill at the jump peak as well on this double. And it's going to be Team Liquid taking over the site, sticking it all the way to the end as the teammates will protect him. John QT finds a cheeky shot through the smoke, but oh no! Oh, come on. Goes down, there's the fault line. I mean, they are funneling them right into the middle of this map, and that stays a bit too long for that duel. But there's one more. Second, he got the spot, but he can't hit the shots as he lands on top of the generator. Yampi already filling back sight. He's trying to stay alive, waiting for backup. Oh no, oh, no. Zels is not watching the right angle. Mystic able to just creep right on oh, by. No. Sentinels has no idea. There's no way they suspect this. Stomping back for the plant. Mystic, he's just waiting for someone else to check the angle. Spike planted. Oh, a twist of fate. The guiding light goes out as well. Oh Kiko, my god. Watching Link. Saucy finally finds the target, but not in time to get the kill. Of course, that means Celsus also hidden away as well. So Sentinels, they will eventually pick up that kill. And Keiko will go down. So the round goes over to Sentinels, but that made the smokes come out. And here we go. The fault line is out. Keiko lands. He only has a judge in the hand, but he's trying to clear the site. Allows Nats and Mystic to pick up the kills as he's just been running circles. Oh, and there's the recovery from Mystic. Keiko finally picking one up for himself as well. Second all alone. They know his location. There is the Odin. And that's going to be the retake for Team Liquid. Speakers will be used, and Team Liquid happily exiting. A couple members low on health. I'm trading the Nanos for the Seekers here, basically. It's going to be another retake, and again, not much util for the side of the Sentinels. Team Liquid even trying uh -oh. to... Oh, and he got the tag. Can't find the follow-up. Yeah, but that allows for the angles to be opened oh, up. Down. That's what we'll get to, but John QT fires Last right back. The Shock Dart the not landing onto its target, but a 1v3 for the IGL of Sentinels. Can he isolate these 1v1s? Still dodging all the utility. Trying to find the early peak off the dart. Here's it. Not Oh, okay, he what? will find the target. A little bit delayed, but he'll find the kill. Identifies Yodin. But he's so low, the left click just going to be held. What? John Cutie wins through that he's on for the ace, and Keiko, oh my gosh. Their sights to give up space on the A. They like their retake chances against this double no controller charges. comp on the A side a little bit better. This time around, Tens is going to have a paranoia. There's a snake bite left for Zelsa. Shock Dart. Not gonna hit John QT again. He's able to dodge these really nicely. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but he you just sees the run. future, knows the location. And now, here comes that lockdown. John QT has to spend this with his life. There's the alarm bot and Keiko trying to find the kill. Not able to just yet. Lockdown still ticking by, but the operator good for another. Still a 3v2 advantage for Team Liquid. Pop flash at the ready. There's the anti-flash from Mystic. He'll be able to swing out for the trade. It's a 2v1. John QT shows his back as the smoke dissipates. And we are going to go to a map three between these two teams. Yeah. Coming up to Boba. All members stacked up. Now Zels is looking for that fault line, but they're pushing him out of a market. And Mystic has gone through. He can't get the right click on the head. Zels will fire back. The smoke now trapping Team Liquid. Nobody going for the flank. No time for that. They have to dodge the flashpoint. There's the aftershock and the paint shows just to keep them busy because the defuse is going down. They finally get it through the spam, but it's already been done to half, and it should be able to finish all the way to the end. Sentinels win a 
fast. Round one. Yeah, Nats trying to do what he can there at the end. Oh. Yampi as well. Oh, Zelsa's just Good trying to buy time. John QT still holding down in the middle of the site. Enzo, does he choose just to get barely? Misses each other. Here comes the drone. John QT can't find the first kill. Oh, and that is Keiko staying alive with the showstopper. Oh. And he gets the trade as well. Makes it a 2v1. Enzo barely alive. Has to know he can't get away in time. Yampi, did he see him? No. The head seam. There's the Marshall. There's the counter shot. Oh, my. God, Yampi! And that's going to be Tim Liquid with finally a point on the board. Saucy, he is caught. The C's oh, come geez. through, but he is so weak. There's the aftershock. Oh, what? The backup from second on the crossfire. Second goes for two. Ooh. He goes for three, and Five that is the push eight. shut down. Team Liquid put right back into their places from the beginning couple rounds. Nats will find a lurk kill, but Spike still stranded. Time for him left. to go for the plant, which is why tens. Now starting to run over, but Saucy will just get the extra kill. Yeah, and you're not going to be able to get a Neural Theft just yet. So you're going to have to rely on the Nightfall and the Rolling Thunder. Okay. Zelsis does yep. get Yompi. Yompi can't get in, and there's the deep Rolling Thunder, but nobody gets hit. It's going to be the Shadow Step to make sure no he can get the angle. There's Undress Fury to keep them off. If a pink comes out, Mystic would swing on it, but he doesn't find a target just yet. Mystic finding one, can't get the kill, and John QT swings on it right away. Once again, the teamwork for Sentinels coming out on top, oh, but the they time. do not have time. They should have a pretty good stack to flash, try to buy more time. The haunt is oh, well. Oh, stopper, it's good oh! for three! Lands on the entire crowd, the spike stranded. Covered with the aftershock, four paint shells being thrown. Oh. Second just trying to deny the spike, and Mystic can't get too far away from it, and that's a quick round. Still hanging around, they're gonna try to make a play off this. And there's the swing out on the Paranoia, tense. Not left. risking it at all, just goes for the quick one kill, and then he goes into main while John Cutie gets the kill as well. Oh, so angle. now it's a double angle, there's a spy cam through the oh. one way, Yampi swings out! But they have no idea where the Cypher is, only 15 seconds left, the Cyber Cage just to draw out more time. John QT playing around it, draws Yampi into the Oath Aftershock. Nightfall, Enzo has to back away from it, but he has to stick the plant. Five seconds, he just has to hold on to it. No option there, he gets one kill, but Saucy will run away. And that's an eight point win here on live. Meanwhile, hiding right there, ready to trade with Keiko. Here comes the Paranoia from Tens. He's trying to jump forward. Second gets one onto the side. Keiko swings around, gets one, and there's the trade from Nats. Now, finally, some teamwork on these skirmishes from Team Liquid on this round. Still a 2v2. Rifles on both sides, but Nats just with the Guardian. The fake. No one fighting just yet. There's the drop. It's a 2v1. John QT. No, it will be Nats coming out on top. Just no hesitation. They empty the site as well. Once again, Saucy on the site. Team Liquid this time. They're well aware of it, but it goes way too high. And now there's the seas on top of the aftershock. It's just chaos as Team Liquid gets caught in their own trap. No idea that Saucy is still alive on the site. And it's going to be a cleanup as look at Yampi as well. Also concerned for the counter alert. Oh, so ooh, clean shot from Sassy. Even things up, four to four. Everybody scratched up on both sides, looking for the fault line to push back out on Sentinels. They want to make sure they can relocate. They beat Mystic into that one as he swings out. Now Tens coming back, but Keiko good for one. Tens on the swing out on Yampi. Still a 2v2, and the half, it's going to get completed. And now Tens, he can't find the target as Nas swings back out. Nas is going to stick it. Keiko looking for his target, oh! John QT. Finds the correct answer. Keiko sticking oh. it to the Whoa. end. Oh, man. Making sure everybody's got what they want. And Zekon's like, dude, I'm so low. I don't need this weapon. Yeah, man. you I'm guys just, take it. <laughs> I'm just here for bait. And that he will be as he's forced out. But Tens goes oh. for the aggressive teleport. And they don't read it. They have a suspicion, but they have to let go of the defuse. Oh. And it's doing the job of buying time. Sentinels, they don't mind if they drop some weapons as they're able to continue to spray down. Enzo all alone, no time. He has to at least find the kills. And he's not going to. Sentinels lead 10. Cage oh, just recognizes where that cage is often going to be. A jump over that trap wire. Mystic does spray back through the smoke. Finds that right angle. Rolling Thunder trying to be saved up by Zelsus. His team is now in the site, so he's just going to wait to use it in the post plant, but it might be too late as the Paranoia comes out. Yampi already gets one kill. Now it's going to be Team Liquid crowding onto the site. Everybody shoved out all the way in to be main. The Rolling Thunder here to buy time. Then you still have the From the Shadows as well. Early Aftershock. 
This is all about a timing play. There's the neural theft. Tense just trying to draw out some of the crosshairs, but Celsus, he knows he has to battle his way out. It's going to be Team Liquid playing it safe. Thought about sticking it if he wasn't bound, but that does call for the Rolling Thunder. Kept them tied up on the side. Keiko can't find his Beautiful. vision as he's flashed out. There's the counter Rolling Thunder, but Yampi, he is all alone. John QT already deep, and Yampi loses that duel as well. Mystical left all on his load. Some paranoia already used, and he found no trades off of it. Sentinels taking their time. Posting up. Spike just planted. beautiful from Sentinel. Well, there's some paranoia as well. As you mentioned, it's just, just cutting all noise. Left. They don't have the breach to pile onto it. The smoke finally comes out. There's the haunt, so they know. Men in backside. The paranoia to try to extend it just a little bit more space. Sentinels trying to work with what they got here. They'll at least buy some time, but at the cost of so much damage taken by the Rays. Well, it's going to be tricky for Sentinels get it done in this round. Well, everybody's on top of a box right now. If they can get those early kills, here comes the showstopper. Second, see if he can get the pick up, and he does! He drops the paint shows to buy time. Ten still watching the other angle, and he oh, finds Nats, but that allows Second to hide. Oh, he peeks out with a clean headshot, so does Tens. The crispy aim coming online, as Second gets a four kill. And ladies and gentlemen, Sentinels will reach the finals.